Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and today I want you to go to Tinkercad.com and we're going to play with virtual circuits. I'll put a link to Tinkercad in the description, but just simply type Tinkercad.com and then sign in using your social providers. And then choose Google. Once you're in Tinkercad, I want you to switch to the circuits. If it pops up anything, cancel it out, and I want you to do Create New Circuit. Step one is to name it. We're going to call this LED with our initials. I'm going to just put MH today. And then on the components, I want you to find the breadboard small. You can click it and bring it out, or you can click and drag and bring it out. We are not going to name it. We are going to quickly bring out a battery and set it right beside it. We're going to bring out an LED and set it in 15 and 16. Notice there are little numbers here so that you can tell where they go. And then we are going to flip it around so that the short lead or the negative side is in 16. Let's grab that part and pull it down one chunk because that'll be easier for adding electricity in a moment. If you've ever connected batteries to lights, you might know that they can break. So we are going to put a special piece of equipment called a resistor in between the electricity and the LED. When you click on your resistor, flip it so that it's able to go into the holes and then make sure that one end connects into 15 and the other will connect out to 11 or wherever you have yours. Let's connect our electricity right now and you can simply grab the red tip and click in the first box of the positive rail. That's where the electricity is going to go from. We want this electricity to connect to the little resistor, I'm going to connect it from this row, which is underneath the 11, to any hole in the rail. So now my positive electricity goes from here to here, into this wire, up through the resistor, and then finally to my LED. We need to finish the circuit by having number 16 connect to the negative rail. I'm going to click on that wire and make it black because that's how you can show negative. I'm going to click on this wire and make it red so that keeps me in track of the positive. I'm going to leave the green wire because that's just one of the wires of the project. And then the last one is to connect the negative to the negative rail. So now my circuit is complete. The electricity will travel in a circle through the entire project. At this point, you need to hit Start Simulation and make sure that yours turns on. If it does, you can pat yourself on the back for being successful to this point. Now I want you to explore the things you can change. And I want you to learn about resistance. If you look over here, this says K ohms, which means 1,000 ohms. Switch it to just plain ohms and then start your circuit and watch how much it changes. You can also click on your batteries. Instead of one battery, you can try two batteries. Note that this pops up a warning, and it tells us that we're close to making it explode. See if you can figure out a way to make it explode. See if you can figure out the different colors that you can adjust. Check out the different resistances. See what happens if you make it 10 ohms. See what happens if you make it to less than a whole ohm, like milli ohms, and explore as you play. If you're in my class and you're trying to get approval to move to other things, you need to come and explain the things you can adjust and how the resistance works with the ohms, kilo ohms, and maybe even the milli ohms. If you're enjoying exploring, see if you can figure out ways to have more than one LED in the same project. Stretch them out, see what you can create, see how much See how you can use several batteries to make several things light up. And so friends, all you need to do is come tell me what you learned. Uh, when you go back to the Tinkercad page, this all saves because it saves to the cloud. You'll be able to look under your circuits and all the different things you've built will still be there. So I do not demand a screenshot on this. And of course, if you found it useful, I'd love to have you hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.